my god, oh my god! I just finished watching Lady Gaga's Super Bowl halftime performance and I'm shook to the core. Not only was her vocals on point, the dance moves were amazing, her bod was banging, her makeup was everything. And I literally stopped everything that I was doing. The game is on in the next room. And I was like, F the game. I'm gonna recreate Gaga's makeup look, or at least try to. You guys came through and sent me a bunch of close-ups and photos of her makeup, so I'm gonna do my best to try to recreate it. I also wanna try to do that mask thing because I thought it was pretty dope. I'm gonna try to make do with the tools that I have, so bear with me. I'm starting off with some Tatcha Moisturizer. This is their new water cream. Oh, I can't wait for this to come out, you guys. It's everything. And then just blending it into the skin. For eyes, I'm gonna be priming with the Benefit Air Patrol, and I kind of like to dot it on first and then blend it out. You know, like, I think what my dream honestly is. I would love to have celebrities. <laughs> I mean, this is so far-fetched and never gonna happen, but I would love to have celebrities like Lady Gaga, Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry come on my YouTube channel and just talk about their favorite makeup, like tricks and tips and hacks. Because I feel like they probably have so many good ones, you know? And then I'm just setting my eye with some translucent powder. You can literally use any type of powder that you want, but you just want to make sure that you definitely set your eyes. That way it'll be easier to blend shadow. So in Lady Gaga's makeup, it kind of looks like she's got this really classic Marilyn Monroe look to her. So I'm going to be using the Morphe 35F palette. This is the fall to frost or fa frosting fall or something like that palette. I also have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L at the checkout. If you want to use it, it'll get you 10% off of everything on their website and in stores. So I'm going to be laying down this color first and just blending it up in my crease. And I am using the Morphe E27 brush with this. This is like a really, really nice transition shade. It'll make everything a lot easier later on for blending. Next color we're going to be using is this puppy right here, and I'm taking my Morphe M433 brush, and I'm just going to kind of work it in the crease as well. She had this really kind of like soft cut crease thing, I feel like. And then lastly, mixing these two colors at the end and blending even more in the crease. Honestly, this is just doing like a gradient effect from dark to light. For the entire lid, I'm going to be packing on this color right here. Also going to spray some Smashbox Photo Finish Primer water to kind of intensify the pigment. And then literally just packing this on the entire lid. This first part right here actually could even be like a really cute Valentine's Day look if you wanted to without the gems or if you want to do the gems, whatever you want. Can you imagine if Lady Gaga sees this? <sighs> For the fun part, it looked like she had some glitter and sparkles on, so I'm taking the Makeup Forever Starlit Liquids. I'm first going to apply shade 01 and then apply shade 02. These are really fun, actually. They're, um, they look like little nail polishes, but they actually have like glitter built into them, and you could just run it on your eyes like this. It's the coolest thing. And then what I'm gonna do is add this one. It's got more of a pinky tone to it, making it more iridescent -y. Taking a brush again and kind of blending everything, making it more like soft on the edges, if that makes sense, so that nothing's too harsh looking. Cause she doesn't have like a cut crease or anything like that. So we wanna make sure it's still soft looking. So she has like a really intense wing going on and it's like thin and intense. So I'm gonna use the Lancome Grandiose Liner. This is in the color 01, which is black. And I like this because the top is cool like that. She legit had her liner all the way out to Mars. So we're gonna try to do the same. And then just kind of connecting it in. It's kind of hard for me to talk and do liner, but you know, kind of like the same thing, the same technique that I usually do. All right guys, so I'm just gonna pop on some iconic House of Lashes lashes. 
She kind of had some like really intense lashes on. I loved them. And these kind of reminded me of them. And then I'm just applying them with the Tarte Cosmetics tool. This is like the best tool ever. And just applying them. It makes it so easy to apply. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever foundation stick. Gaga had some like gorgeous dewy skin and I was like loving it. So whenever I wanna have like nice dewy skin, I'm always using this foundation. And then just taking my damp beauty blender and blending the whole thing out. The cool thing with this foundation stick is you can like build it up to the intensity that you want it. Like if you just want to have a light coverage, you can build it up to that. Or if you want to have full to medium coverage, it's, it's a great, great foundation. Y'all already know the drill. Shape tape, my favorite thing ever. Just applying some concealer. And then to cream contour, I'm taking the Tardis Pro Glow Palette and I'm taking the color shade right here. And this is JD Wadey's brush. And I'm just contouring with this. This is like the best color to contour with because it's more on the cool tone side so it looks more natural. Blending everything out with our Beauty Blender again. So now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and this is my Morphe E48 brush. I'm just setting the under eye area and the sides of my nose, kind of just letting it sit for a second. For the lower lash line, I'm just gonna use like these colors in the bottom here and kind of like smoke it out. She didn't really do anything crazy with the lower lash line, so we're just gonna do that. Adding some Man Eater Mascara from Tarte. I love this mascara. I feel like this is my favorite one they've ever put out. Gaga did kind of have like a nude waterline. I'm gonna add some like white color to the waterline cause she did have that in there. So she had some gorgeous bronzer on so I'm gonna be using MAC Give Me Sun and this is my Morphe M177 brush. I really like this pr brush for applying bronzer. It gets like a big surface area which I like. And then just gonna like bronze the chin and the neck and a little bit of the forehead. I'm gonna use a cream highlight since she kind of had more of like a shiny, dewy effect to her skin. This is from Milk Makeup. This is called Lit. And I'm just gonna like brush this onto the skin. It's a really, really pretty color and it's super buildable so you can make it as intense as you want. I'm gonna apply some Gerard Cosmetics Red Lip Liner. Lip liner is super important, especially with red lips. And then applying some Mary Jo K from Kylie. So you can leave the look like this. This is basically Lady Gaga's makeup that she did. Now I'm gonna take it to the extreme and add the jeweled gem eye mask. Okay guys, so I have these and I think I'm gonna attach them with eyelash glue. That way it's easier for me to get them off. I got this awesome picture of Gaga right here. I'm basically just gonna outline the spots where I want the gems to be first. And I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. So I'm just going to kind of look at the photo for reference. This part's probably gonna be really quiet because I don't wanna mess it up. And this is the reason why I like to use white too because if you mess up, you could just buff it away very, very easily. Okay, so there we have our outlines. <laughs> Feels like Halloween all over again. And then I'm gonna legit just use some like lash glue. This is the Duo Eyelash Adhesive. I put a huge clump on the back of my hand. I'm gonna let that dry and slowly apply. So I'm gonna let those dry first. So I'm just using like the back of a brush and kind of like mm, mm, mm. And then kind of using my tweezer to press this puppy in 
Definitely got to have some patience for this. <laughs> so I keep adding like little dots, letting them dry a bit. And another reason why I'm using eyelash glue is because it's safe to put it over your eyebrows. Slow and steady wins the race, you know. Okay, so now that we have our outline, I'm going to be going back in and adding like smaller gems. These gems are so tiny. Alright guys, and this is the finished look. Really, really liking the gems. I've never done anything like this. It was so cute and like simple. All you had to do was just lay down some lash glue and put your gems on. It takes a lot of patience, but I love the way it came out. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So happy the Patriots won. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.